Some people like poetry, some people like art, some people like literature. For me, it's music. I've always been a music fan. I went to my first concert when I was 14. I went to see A Flock of Seagulls <laughs> with The Fix opening. And a week later, I saw Men at Work. We sing to each other all the time. <laughs> and I won't do it in public, but I'll sing in front of him. And not just vocals. Like, we'll sing the bass lines, the, 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 the guitars, right. the drum beats, everything. It's just another way, I guess, that we communicate with each other. I don't know how many concerts I've been to, but it's at least this many. We met in 1997 at a U2 concert. I was at the show with my friends and my sister. Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam. Hey, it's the Beast. I was friends with Amy's sister, Rachel. Rachel was somebody that, you know, if I ever wanted to go to a show, I know Rachel would want to go. And that's how I kept bumping into Amy, was that she was also at shows at the same time. Chris Cornell at Town Hall. Good one, I was there. It was just Brad. friends meeting friends. Brad, I forgot about Brad. Pearl Jam side project. We just kept bumping into each other. We were always kind of dancing around each other, but we never really had occasion to to come together. Mm -hmm. I went to that. That was good. Four years ago, my sister, she unexpectedly passed away. Rich was always checking in on me every now and again. How are you doing? How are you holding up? It was just me being a friend yeah. of Rachel and... Well, you were grieving too. Yeah, and I was grieving too. So it was kind of catharsis for me as well. At one point, one of my friends was like, I don't understand why you guys aren't dating. I felt, I felt like it was supposed to happen. He called me up, said, do you want to go out on Saturday? Like on a date? Is that weird? <laughs> 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 I was so taken aback, but I was so impressed. My sister, she, she was the genesis, you know, she was the, the thing that we came together around and that can't be downplayed. It shouldn't be downplayed. It's a really, really bittersweet thing because I think that she would have absolutely loved to have had you as a brother-in-law. Yeah, she would have been a great uh, sister-in-law for me. Yeah. yeah. We tend to go to a lot of shows. And really for us, it's more than just music, it's more, it's experiencing things, create memories. This actually happened to us recently. We were at a show and I said to him, oh, you're gonna see a side of me that I don't think you've seen before because it's a big, <laughs> I'm a really big fan of it. The first Lollapalooza. Wow, look at that. So I'm singing and I'm screaming and I'm thinking, oh God, what is he gonna, this is so embarrassing and what is he gonna think? And I just, I didn't care. I didn't care because I knew he still loved me anyway. And that was a really, really liberating feeling.